to see and learn about AVM03 digital anemometer. This is the one which is made by Metro AV in India. We are going to look into what comes with it. It has a user manual, a small user manual, a CD uh, which has a software that is installable on Windows uh, laptop or PC and is used to connect uh, this uh, meter with the PC to take dynamic readings. It comes with this uh, USB data cable. This data cable can be uh, used to connect this meter to the Windows PC or laptop. And a soft carry case. The soft carry case is a good case uh, with a small pocket for the user manual. And it is softer so it can prevent any damage to the meter while handling or while transporting. So now let's uh, look at the meter itself. This is the meter. It has a, a good big display. It has some six buttons in the front, uh, which uh, are able to control some seven to eight functions. It has a USB port, which is used to connect uh, the, this USB cable just shown uh, to your PC. Uh, it has a rubberized grip, rubberized grip pretty good uh, for handling the meter so that it doesn't slip from your hands while taking readings. And it has a battery compartment over here. You can unscrew using your Phillips screwdriver, and it goes. Uh, it comes with a nine uh, DC uh, nine volt battery. Uh, after you open the case, you can uh, have uh, the look at uh, how the battery is fitted. It's clear, uh, pretty clear in the compartment where the positive and the negative should go. Though I face some problems while removing the uh, battery, it should have some ribbon uh, to pull the battery from the compartment. It was quite difficult uh, to remove the battery, basically and the meter is quite sturdy you can see that the vein uh, is itself on the meter so it is not a detachable kind of probe uh, or generally what other meters have uh, which comes with the coiled wire probe here you can see uh, these are the sensors for temperature and humidity of the air that uh, is going to be measured by this particular sensor over here it is open so you need to protect this from uh, water or dust basically that has to be taken care of I'm not sure how waterproof or how dust proof this particular meter is because it doesn't mention anywhere in the manual you can buy this meter at totalautomation.in now let's start the meter and look at the functions uh, what can be done so this is the on off button you click it once and the meter starts. Now you can see that it shows the velocity uh, is the uh, primary thing that can be measured by this meter. Now, and you can see the temperature over here, the humidity uh, in this section and uh, meters per second is the unit. I'll just turn on uh, the backlight display to show you how bright the display is. It is pretty bright and good uh, for the readings uh, if uh, you work in a dark environment or uh, not a well lit place. So, uh, you can turn off the backlight display using this button. Anyways, it turns off after 5 to 6 seconds to save the battery. So, you have to turn it manually on and off again uh, if you need to, uh, to have the backlight on. Uh, this particular unit button is used to switch over to different units. So, this comes with meter per second, then you have kilometers per hour, then you have miles per hour, this is feet per minute and this is feet per second so this is what uh, changes the unit uh, this is the hold hold is for the reading this is max and min in within the session so if you keep on toggling max and min you will get the max and min readings within the uh, particular session so to check how this uh, reading works i'll just blow some air into the vein area so this is how it's going to measure you can also change the units while on the fly while taking the readings it will automatically adjust so it's not right now it's in meters per second right now so that is how it works you can hold the reading if you want to note it down so now currently the re reading has been held you can release so it's again going to you can see the vein is pretty smooth I, I don't feel any vibrations uh, when the vein is uh, rotating so the bearings are good and uh, it's a basically good meter for the general use 
and you have max and min in which uh, you can get the max and min readings uh, within one single session this meter also has a functionality to measure flow in CFM, CMS and CMM. So to migrate to the flow screen, you'll have to click on function button. Okay, the max and min is still uh, enabled, so I'll just have to... So, okay, and now you can go... On the screen, you'll enter the area of the uh, duct uh, or the area of whatever you want to measure the flow of. By coming on the screen, you can select the area. So your seven is blinking, so it is active. By clicking on unit, you can change the digit over there. And I'll just set it to two. Then to move on to next digit, I'll have to press max and min button once. And then I'm into the second digit. Then you can set it to two. Once I'm done, I'll just uh, press function button to accept whatever area I have fed. And I am right now in flow, flow measurement. Flow measurement currently has the unit CMS over here. You can change uh, the unit to CMM, CMFM, and CMS. So this is how we can change the unit of uh, measurement while uh, taking readings for flow. I'll just blow some air into it and the reading has started. So you can dynamically change uh, even while you are taking the readings, you can dynamically change whatever uh, unit you would like to have the measurements in and you can carry forward with it so this is what pretty good about uh, the meter is that you can, you can have multiple units uh, you have uh, two functionalities that's velocity and flow and the build quality is also very good the only thing missing on this uh, meter is the arrow the directional arrow which shows generally on the probes like how the meter should be placed while taking the readings but the general guess says that as the sensor of temperature and humidity of the air is on this side, uh, this is the way I will be placing the meter so that the uh, air flows uh, over the sensor while taking the readings. Though it's uh, better because if you are inclined towards, uh, more towards the temperature and humidity of air, this is the way you should be keeping the meter. So, uh, in case if you are measuring the, uh, the air is coming from the left to right, this is the way I will be keeping the meter to measure the temperature and the air. So this is all with uh, AVM03. If you need to buy it, you can visit at totalautomation.in and you can type in the search AVM03 and you can check for the specification and pricing. Thank you.